In a world of increased heart disease, it's essential that medical personnel act quickly and in accordance with accredited chest pain center procedures. I'm a little bit nauseated. The St. Thomas Chest Pain Network was created to do just that. Our network targets populations at risk for cardiac events across rural counties of Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Today, there are 14 accredited St. Thomas chest pain centers, including 10 hospitals not in our own system, and they are making a difference. The St. Thomas Chest Pain Center network includes St. Thomas Hospital, Southern Tennessee Medical Center, Henry County Medical Center, Cumberland Medical Center, Baptist Hospital, Crockett Hospital, Williamson Medical Center, Hickman Community Hospital, Middle Tennessee Medical Center, Hardin Medical Center, Monroe County Medical Center, Lincoln Medical Center, Livingston Regional, and Decatur County General Hospital. At a chest pain center, the entire facility works together to provide the best possible care for the chest pain patient. Research proves that an accredited chest pain center significantly improves the delivery of needed treatments for those at risk while significantly decreasing acute heart attack mortality. The entire chest pain network participates in mock drills. The drills simulate a patient having a heart attack from the 911 call to the cath lab when the artery is opened. Drills may include a patient being flown from the rural community to a St. Thomas Health Service facility. The mock drills allow us to identify areas to cut down on the time it takes to diagnose and treat a heart attack patient. As a result of the drills, a 24-7 emergency cardiac hotline was established. This is St. Thomas Hospital Cardiac Services. This is Jane Moorhead. Can I help you, please? It provides a seamless approach to treatment and transfer of the cardiac patient. More in-depth cardiac education is provided to all network partners and emergency medical services. The extensive education allows us to quickly diagnose, treat, and intervene in all patients experiencing chest pain. The Chest Pain Network shares best practices among healthcare providers. The standardized chest pain protocols across the network have been proven to save lives. We have come a long way since we first um, started this project. We know exactly what to do and we know what each other is going to do and we uh, get the aspirin, get the beta blockers, get the EKG within 10 minutes. It's just like a, an army of soldiers who goes around and knows exactly what they're supposed to do and do it and we have saved lives. One patient that we had back last month, um, uh, she was in her 40s I believe, um, came in complaining of chest pain. She was the typical what we thought was an anxiety type uh, behavior, panic attack um, and the nurses kind of thought of it that way. They thought she was just having a panic attack and but because the rules and the regulations and, and the policies of the chest pain center says you have to do the certain things. They went ahead and got the EKG, gave her the aspirin, went through all of the things that they had to do uh, because we're a chest pain center and uh, her pain went away and she she was just you know in her room waiting on troponin results to come back and um, she began having pain again and kind of panicking, hyperventilating, uh, coming off the bed wanting to get up. She was having horrible pain and because the rules say that she had, we have to do another EKG, they repeated her EKG and she was having uh, an acute MI. It showed um, tombstones basically. She had ST elevation so they went ahead and prepared her for transfer. They gave her the red of ACE and we did transfer her and I did a follow-up phone call with her a couple weeks ago and she's doing great. She has a small child and she is doing absolutely wonderful. We just recently were, I went through our accreditation with the Society of Chest Pain Centers on October 14th. Um, we're waiting for our full accreditation um, anytime now. But um, initial phases, just starting um, the Chest Pain Center is education to our staff and to our community, letting people uh, become aware of um, what we could do as a rural facility to um, help people to initiate early heart care, cardiac care if they were having chest pain. We've already seen major differences just in early stages, in the planning stages when we first began um, education. 
to our nursing staff and letting them know on what type of patients, not just your typical chest pain patients, but um, different signs and symptoms of acute coronary syndromes. You know, not only educating our staff, now we're beginning to go out and educate um, community people and letting people know in the community about acute coronary syndrome. I've seen so many improvements that we've made, you know, since becoming accredited that uh, I no longer feel that way anymore and, and, and very excited about uh, having gone through the, the process of becoming an, an accredited chest pain center. By becoming an accredited you know, chest pain center and affiliating with St. Thomas, we've now got two outside agencies that are examining our processes that we have to be held accountable to. So not only are we you know, held accountable to the community and to ourselves, but there are you know, two other agencies that are looking at how we treat acute coronary syndrome patients. Accreditation makes that process very smooth. All those teams are centered around one goal, uh, which is opening that artery and restoring the blood flow. And they are connected by the idea, time is muscle. But we are glad that we are part of something important and we are making difference.